Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Charles of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Just back at you with another lesson. And uh, hopefully this lesson is edifying to those of the hopeful elect. And uh, I just want to speak on, on how, um, you know, great deception is uh, going on in the world. And it's, and it's being pushed uh, in the powers that be, which is Esau Edom. And uh, today they released three footages of the government, you know, of what they call UFOs, right? And, you know, it says Pentagon officially released UFO footage, you know. So what is the deal that, you know, this government after all these years now want to admit that there's um, what they call un unidentified flying objects that fly in our heavens, okay? See, well, but he, we, excuse me, but we of the hopeful elect, we know what they are, all right? We call them what? IFOs, which are identifying flying objects because we identify them as the chariots of the most high okay and um what is the deal you know right now we're in this quarantine state state where they got everybody with curfews and you know ration was still with food and water you know um we're also uh going into what the lord called a famine all right a famine now there was certain uh pork factories that were closing and now they released this about two days ago you know the brand tyson but you get your chicken from you know you go in the supermarkets you look in that yellow packet you know like the yellow cup the light yellow casing with the plastic wrap over the food it'd be mainly tyson you know they'd be delivering all these meats now it says the food supply chain is breaking tyson foods warns of meat shortage as plant closed due to covid19 so what's happening is that a famine is coming you know the, the meats that be on the shelves even though now certain supermarkets they don't put all it out there you know but guess what there's going to be a point where they're not going to be able to put meat out there on the shelves because they're not going to have it all right so we're going right into you know a famine and i want to read that in matthew 24 as well so uh Let's read this real quick. It says, as pork, beef, and chicken plants are being forced to close, even for short periods of time, millions of pounds of meat will disappear from the supply chain. John Tyson, chairman of the board of Tyson Foods, wrote in a letter published as an advertisement. As a result, there will be limited, limited supply of our products available in grocery stores until we are able to reopen our facilities that are currently closed all right so these elites you know their agenda is to take away this food you know to bring you know the bring you sheeple to a halt you know to make you submit give up your you know let these edomites give up their patriot uh, uh spirit you know this uh self-will spirit and they want you to rely on them because it's all a part of their what their agenda okay one world government one world army and uh one world currency all right which they call what the new world order so this is all part of their agenda so every time every day go by we just get closer and closer and and uh you know to really their demise because these edomites are uh, attacking the most high all right they're basically striving to um you know like they did in the past in the ancient times like the tower of babel you know uh let's uh see here let me go back let's backtrack and go back to this now i've seen a lot of videos earlier different alternative news and uh they were speaking on how be be prepared for a, a false evasion or you know some type of um project which which we understand to be project blue Beam, some type of sightings of uh chariots in the sky or they're gonna put out you know it's possible they can put out some um some uh, emergency thing saying that we're going to be invaded and you know or they could use their technology to destroy a, a state and blame it on what they call ufos you know and that's why i read the scripture which i'll read it again 
uh, Matthews 24 and 24, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And it's not possible that they could deceive the very elect. Now they're gonna deceive two thirds of our people, all right, of you Israelites. They're gonna uh, deceive uh, the masses of the world, but they're not gonna deceive the very elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I wanna play the video here, which it shows a chariot, you know, and they all, you know, written throughout the scriptures. There's plenty of scriptures that identify what these objects are and they are what the angels that that ride in the vehicles which is the heavenly father the chariots of yahweh all right so let's play the video Technology is able to pick up on the Lord's chariot, you know, his radar system thing. And um, but guess what? You know, the most high is gonna have these chariots, which really when they see them, it sh it should be identified as um, you know, they should identify it and keep it real as the Lord's chariots because the Lord said this. Matter of fact, let me I'm gonna come back to this scripture. Oh, wait a minute, one second. I have here What's this? okay because these are the Lord's chariots so let me um get a quick scripture real quick um this is uh Zechariah chapter 5 and 1 it says then I lifted up then I turned and lifted up my eyes and look and behold a flying robe all right you know you go back to the video footage you know it could take the the lord's angels and these ships can take different sizes you know it can take di different shapes and sizes you know and you saw it when you watched in the video how it tipped and turned and it can go at any diagonal any type of speed you know whether it could go slow and then speed up to uh top of speed at, at a second man all right, um, let's, let me get it back. It says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying robe. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe and the lift thereof is 20 cubits and the breedeth thereof is 10 cubits. So Zachariah was letting you know, he was showing you the size of it and what shape it took, all right? And, and how big it was. It says, verse three, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So is these uh, unidentified flying objects? No, they identified. This is the heavenly father's eyes, man. Okay, that he have what? Flying through our heavens for his purpose, for his reason. It said that this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth for everyone that stilleth shall be cut off on this side according to it and everyone that swears shall be cut off on that side according to it. And that's directly, see these, these chariots, these angels that ride in the vehicles and the chariots of the Lord, you know, they, they're to uh, let the kings of the world know that they're not in power. They, excuse me, they're not in, um, they're not the uh, authority, man. They're not the higher power, that is, I should say. All right, it says, um, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the earth. So it's a curse unto what? Unto everyone that stilleth shall be cut off 
on this side according to it. And ultimately, what did these uh, Edomites do, man? They, they, they what? They cut off uh, and they stole the Israelites from one side of the world and brought us to another side of the world. All right? And right now, we're still found in their hands. We're still in captivity. Okay? It says, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. All right? It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts. It shall enter into the house of the thief. Who is the thief? Edom. All right? These international bankers. Okay? The Rothschilds. It says, and into the house, well, according to the scriptures, the Amalekites. It says, and into the house of him, you know, uh, that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right. So what these angels are going to do, you know, they're going to destroy this this wicked kingdom, which is called Babylon the Great, which means great confusion It's going to destroy it off the face of the earth. But here you got the devil Esau, which is looking to actually stage an invasion, stage these things. And that's why, you know, it takes me back to the uh, what was it? The governor of New York uh, I forgot his name, but he made that statement last week about how um or the week before he made this statement he said um that god didn't um take down the numbers they took down the numbers because of all of this quarantine and um social distancing and all that stuff you know it's like you know what's your problem with the most high you know for him to say that he must uh hates the most high he has a problem with the most high you know and he could be an israelite you know but his mindset is the ways of the agenda which is the uh, you know, given by the elites, which is Esau, Edom, you know, so it says, um, it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. It says, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, which they have. Okay. Cause there's chariot sightings, you know, going back to the fifties, the forties, man. All right. The sixties, the seventies, the eighties, the nineties, two thousands, man. It says, um, you know, going all the way back since the beginning, I should say. All right. Since the very beginning, you know, when you check out the Israelites, when we was on those slave boats, you know, they was actually singing a song that they sung in, the, uh, you know, them old black Negro churches, man. All right. Yeah. The Baptist church, you know, uh, they still sing to this day, which uh, uh, swing low, sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home. That's what the uh, slaves were singing. And that chariot was, was what you see here or what they call. UFOs because why these are the ships that is prophesized that's going to deliver the elect all right right before the nuclear destruction happened and the destruction all right that's going to happen here in Babylon the great it says and it shall remain in, in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof all right now also too I want to bring out this scripture because Yahweh Shai our Lord was actually brought he was uh you know uh, took it up in the chariot and, and it's, and it's going to say that he's going to come back that way too. All right. Esau is playing on the Bible. He's using the Bible as a script. And he believes that he's the God of the Bible. He's going to run the script his way and not let the Lord do it. But little do you Edomites know what you do and what the Lord allow you to do is for the most highest benefit. It's his will. All right. You know, that scripture, Romans 9 and 13 and down is screaming how he puff if you Edomites up like he did with Pharaoh just to show his power in thee. You know, screaming. So this is Acts chapter 1 and 1. The former, uh, let's see. Let's see here. I think it's an 11. Okay, okay. So let's read into it. Uh, verse 6, it says, When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power. Exactly. See, we don't know the day, the hour, you know, in the set time. All right. But the Lord, Yahweh Shai, did give us uh, prophecies, the thing to look for, to know that he is near. All right. And right now, with everything that's happening, we're near. So it says, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power 
after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And that uttermost parts is here, right in Babylon. Okay, but you have the Israelites scattered throughout this throughout the four corners of the earth. And check out, he said, we shall receive power. What is power? You know, after the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is known this word. All right, the knowledge, uh, wisdom, and understanding. Okay. Then he said, power. You're going to receive the power. That power is what? Spiritual powers. It says, um, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the and, in, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth And when he had spoken these things While they beheld He was taken up And the cloud received him out of their sight Alright so right then and there Yahweh Shai was just taken You know Just taken Because why there was a chariot above them And I'm pretty sure those brothers These brothers that was talking with Yahweh Shai here They didn't probably even see the chariot Standing above the Lord Cause that's how the, the chariots uh, hide out in plain sight. You know, another name for the chariots in the scriptures is clouds. You know, they be hiding behind clouds or they could form themselves to look like a cloud. You know, or it could just do stealth mode and you would never know it's right on top of you, man. You know, that's the power that our Lord possess, our Heavenly Father, you know. All right. It says, um, it says, uh, verse 9, it says that when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. It wasn't an actual cloud. It was a chariot. All right. It says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. So when Yahweh was taken up, they looking up in the heavens, man. <laughs> they looking up. Like, whoa, what the hell? You know, <laughs> you know, it was amazing, man. Imagine having a chariot right before your eyes and a brother taken up right before you, man. You know, when you read the story about Elisha and Elijah, you know, Elisha receiving that power after Elijah, that that's that uh that power, you know, Elijah told him, he said, if you see me, the Lord, you know, uh, fulfill your will, you know, fulfill your wishes, you know, your desire that he receive a double portion of Elijah's power. If he witnessed Elijah being taken up and he did, you know, he mourned, man, you know. He mourned because why it's 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 uh it's something that we don't see every day it's amazing it's starstruck man okay it says which also now it says two men stood by them in white apparel now these two men is angels it says which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same yahweh shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. All right, so the angels there on the side. So that shows you that was just one ship that took the Lord up. But then I'm pretty sure there was another ship there. Or it could be the same ship, you know. And the angels were standing right next to these guys and just told them this. You know, which he said, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? You know, because they was looking for the Lord. <laughs> this same Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai means Savior. All right, he's he deliverer, he Savior. Which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven all right so our lord is coming back by the way of the chariots man you know and while these edomites go ahead and try to stage some type of evasion or you know they might shoot a missile off with their technology today and destroy a state a city and blame it on what they call ufos to make the people here in the world unite well, guess what? The elect is not uniting with you, with you Edomites, man. With this, with this, uh, you know, you, uh, with the sons of perdition. All right. You know, that's why I read the scripture in Matthews. Let me go back to it. Let's get that back. Matthews 24 and 24. It says, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show gay signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And you better believe Esau is about to show forth his miracles, man. All right, through his left, through, through his technology, which is given to him on the left hand side of the Lord. And that means that was given to him by Satan. Okay. Which Satan works for the most high. Okay. Satan is deceiving you Edomites. All right. He's doing his job and playing his hand in which the most high gave him. He's one of those angels. All right. That, um. 
that, that lay on sore strokes. All right. He's the top angel, I should say. Uh, let me get that. I believe it's in Sirach. Ecclesiastic, because I think it's 39. 39.26. Right. Wait. Right. Uh, 28. Because Satan is one of these angels. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So Satan... Demon spiritual Satan that works for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, our Heavenly Father, he appeased the wrath of him that made them, meaning he pleases the Most High, man. All right, when the Lord give him a job, which uh, Satan right now is pleasing the Lord by having these Edomites deceive, deceived, you know, to, to think that they're actually going to uh, be a God unto the Israelites, you know, be, you know, they're going to sit in the temple of the Most High. They're going to be as if they is the Most High. And they think that their, their kingdom going to rule forever. You're going to be cut short. All right. All the sacrifices that you have done and murdered after murder after murder, killings after killing, thieving after thieving, you know, it's all going to come back upon y'all heads, man. All right. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. And that's why the Lord He's going to bring his vengeance upon you, Edomites, because it is written that he said, Jacob, have I loved, but Esau, have I hated. All right, so I want to go back to Matthew 24. You know, it says 24, 24. If there shall arise false Christ, which means anointed, you know, you got a lot of men that's coming out saying they're anointed, teaching false doctrines. All right, which which really which are of the circumcision, you know, knowing that they're an Israelite. All right, then you got those mega churches and men. You know, I forgot that Edomite's name that looked like a fucking monster. Um, the one that did the music song. With the COVID, COVID-19, COVID-19, <laughs> you know, he a devil, man, all right, acting like he's, uh, you know, he's going to heal people from the COVID-19, you know, when the COVID-19 is a big-ass hoax, man, <laughs> it's a big-ass hoax, I understand why the, uh, what is he, the mayor, the governor of New York, whatever, which one, you know, Salakia, uh, but the one that said that, uh, you know, God didn't bring down the numbers, we did, he did, they did you know i believe um no, i lose my train of thought it's a lot here to come back it says for there shall arise false christ and false prophets right all right prophets means to say before when you prophesize all right you know people lying and saying that these things are going to happen and it's not going to happen and if they prophesize and it's not coming from the word then they're false prophets all right every every time a prophet you know a prophet by the prophet's word which is the word of the most high if a prophet is telling you things that's going to happen you should be able to go into the scriptures and see and read it yourself it says and shall show great signs and wonders you know and that chip that chip itself is a miracle it says in so much that it would if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect all right now esau has technology that's amazing you know but it's all from the left hand side so he can perform things in the heavens that you would actually think it was from the most high if you get deceived all right so that's why this lesson is based on if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect and it's not possible all right yahweh shai said neither can ye pluck them out of my hand uh the lord said in edris uh that he had uh, kept him a cluster of great unto himself of great men all right so it's not possible <laughs> it's not possible <laughs> While the world is being deceived, it's not possible that the elect is going to be deceived. So I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.